Hey, everybody, Anne here. And Papa, sitting out in front of the chickens, having my coffee with all of you. And, well, today is, it's kind of, the clouds are here right now, but it's going to be sunny for most of the day. So I'm really looking forward to this day. I just had breakfast. You know what it was? It was an egg salad sandwich made with my delicious pickled eggs. And I had made some um, pickle relish with cowboy candy leftover brine. And it's done doing its thing and so I put some of that in there and some mustard and some mayonnaise. I buy single serving packs of mayonnaise so I don't have to refrigerate the mayonnaise and mixed it all up and it was so good and the pickles that I got came in this big huge jar and they're the big huge pickles. I ate a few of them. I chopped them up, gave some to the chickens but I didn't buy the jar for the pickles. I bought the jar for the jar because the pickles were on sale for like half price and they come in this big beautiful gallon jar so let me grab it and show it to you see this yep here let me show you the label that's what kind of pickles they were but look at that big beautiful jar so usually those cost I don't know like about 10 or 11 dollars but uh, they were on sale for like five bucks so I thought gosh that's a beautiful jar and buying gallon jugs that are very you know durable um, and they can be kind of pricey sometimes unless you find them at a garage sale. When you find them at a garage sale, you don't know what's been in them, you know. I mean, you can wash them out. But this way, I know that it's a good clean jar on the inside once you get it all cleaned out. And I like to get these every now and again because when I have a big glut of eggs, I will um, make a big, huge thing of pickled eggs. And this will hold, oh, I don't know, about between 30 and 35 eggs depending on size. So, yeah, I, I like to get things for dual purposes, like my ice chest. Um, why I like to use it so much is because I put ice in it, I keep my food cold, and the ice melts, and I can use that for clean drinking water, except for right now because I exploded a thing of um, chocolate pudding down in the bottom of it, so, you know, and I, it already had ice in it. I just didn't want to clean it all out, so I'll probably put that water on the plants. But anyhow, today... I'm thinking, yeah, I got to do some more wood cutting up, and I don't know what else. There's so many different things I need to do, but at the very least, I'm going to do that, and I'll show you how much I got done, if I got any done at all, and uh, just whatever else I get going. So, um, yeah, I guess I better get going. <laughs> Would you look at that, you guys? Remember, that was that one weird shaped piece that I couldn't fit into the log splitter. I didn't think I was going to be able to saw it in half, but I have done it, and I'm pretty sure this thing is going to fit in there now. And I also got that one smaller one done. I've still got this one yet to go, and then it's back out into the forest. See that behind me? That's what I'm going to work on today. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to start from the bottom, kind of like in this area. First problem, I think the bow saw has met its limits. See this? It is up against this, so it can't go down anymore. And I still have probably, oh, just barely, like a quarter of an inch left to go. And here's the thing. Once you start cutting, the log collapses in on itself, so it's virtually impossible to get the blade out. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure it out. Finally did it. I had to just put my left hand here, my right hand here, and just make little sawing motions. And I finally got it. So, um, this, this tree log only gets thicker in diameter from here up. Um, I was going to try and cut it here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to get a chainsaw out here. But, at least I got two nice big pieces cut up. So that's good. What's up, Pooch? What, you got a stick? Where's Papa? There's Papa. There he is. That's my boy. At least I cleared a little bit of the path for the kids in case they want to get their ATVs back in here. They can just go around it so they don't have to go under it. Um, I'm just hoping they don't go up underneath of this until I can get this down. Alright kids, time to go home. Oh, Let's take a look at the baby chickens, why don't we? 
uh, their poop factories. I've already had to replace the box because they've gotten so big. Uh, they don't like going in the box at night. But look, at, I just put it in. They've already pooped all over it. So I'm just going to start putting uh, newspaper down. This one here, the Bard Rock, pretty sure it's a rooster. Every time I stick my hand down in there, it goes after me. It's like, I must protect the flock. And there's Patty. Look at all that poop. Oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Uh, Patty is doing really, really well. And next to her, where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Where? Waldo's down there. That one right there. You can't see it, but he's got some really pretty brown feathering on his chest. And this one looks like a torch-like one. Uh, big comb. Probably a rooster. What are you doing, mister? Huh? I could be wrong, though. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That one. That one is Waldo. That's the one that was with uh, Miss Patsy, or Patty, uh, with a pretty coloring on its chest. Oh, no. I don't know. And then we've got this one over here who's got some pretty coloring on its face. I'm trying to keep this uh, little brooder box clean is a losing battle. But they are all doing just fine. And they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have one barred rock out of this. And I am kind of hoping that it's a rooster. Um, that one might, yeah, that's not Waldo. That's the one with some barring pattern a little bit. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> I may have all roosters in this batch. I think I at least have two. Um, but they are just doing really good, you guys. So I'm glad I went through all that. They eat so much. And I think they're getting close to five weeks. Um, but they're not going to be ready to go out in the van for a while, so, yeah. <laughs> that one likes to get up onto everything. But I'm so glad Patty made it. I'm glad they all made it, but in particular Patty and Waldo, because they're just special, because I named them after my parents. Um, when I get a better look at them, I'll know which exact one is Waldo. I think it's this one down here, that one. But look, look. They are just so adorable. They're still very fragile, but they are getting more of their feathers. So that is a good thing. Gosh, I've got to clean this up again. Oh, i got to show you guys something. I have been wondering how I was going to grow these little babies out um, over the winter once they get big enough to be outdoors. And I couldn't figure it out. But then I thought, oh my gosh, remember Miss Donna B brought this little uh, foldable chicken yard, dog yard, whatever. It's got a door over there, but I just couldn't work out the shape so that I could have the door in the front. So I have just basically kind of tucked it and uh, doubled it up in a couple areas, and I'll, and I'll just bungee that together. And um, tucked it behind there, and I think this will give enough room for the baby chicks to grow out. And because there's only six of them, they can roost up in there. That's going to be perfect. All I need to do is find a way to cover the top. That shouldn't be too hard. I still have a little chicken wire left. Um, so, you know what? This is going to be great. I am relieved. I was really worried about how I was going to handle all this, but now this is the perfect solution. It gives them plenty of room, and I can even expand it more if I want to. So, yeah, this is great. Yeah, that's not a permanent roosting bar. I've just got it there because all these chickens like to roost up here. But anyhow, yeah, thank you, Donna. Well, look at this. Now, this is not the way I'm going to keep it, but... She also brought down two pieces of hardware cloth, and they reach almost over. This is just one of them, but I think with two of them, I can completely cover the top of this. I'm going to have to find a way to secure it and keep it supported, but I think this is going to be the solution. I'm just going to put two pieces of hardware cloth up here and uh, try and find a way to give me easy access. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a chore, so that these little chickens can have plenty of room. Look at this. This is great. This is great. And I'm not going to cut this. Um, I'm going to try and leave it whole and just secure it and then repurpose it for something else later on. See there? That's the other piece of hardware cloth. And she also brought this down when she was here. So, yeah, definitely um, two of those are definitely going to work. I'm, I'm sure I might be able to implement this some way. Um, I just need to give myself easy access to the area. You know what I mean? 
So, um, I think this is going to work great. I, I'm actually kind of relieved. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a break for a little bit and see later this evening I might have the energy to do it. At least get them cut up um, because I want to get this thing covered up. But look at you guys. It's growing. It's growing. Well, it's been a super fun day so far. Uh, the day is still young, but i got to take a rest. <laughs> so I'm going to go get something cold to drink, sit and relax for a little bit, have some lunch, and... Um, I don't know what else. If it cools off a little bit this evening, I may try and tackle sawing some more of that wood. But until then, I just gotta chill. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.